And all right. Okay, so uh, welcome. Um, we have a test this Friday. Ah, there they are. Excellent. I figured they were coming. All right. Okay, so again, test is this Friday. We're gonna do a review today, as you can see from my iPad screen. Uh, we have questions one through four, um, and then um, tomorrow we'll do five through eight. It's about half and half, and then um, the test is on Friday, and it will be on the next midterm, which the midterm is ends Friday. So um, I got to update grades for you guys. Still, I'm gonna do that today. Hopefully, I can do that in the next period or so because um, I need to enter in some scores. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we're looking at Unit Three, which is for you guys is Chapter Eight, um, and we're gonna be going through the the practice guide. So going back, looking at the beginning of Chapter Eight when we talked about maps and kind of working our way through it. Now there's gonna be a couple things that are gonna be kind of a challenge for us, especially if you're working at home on this test. Uh, it will require that you have a ruler. So you might need to get access to a ruler um, or something of form of measurement that you can use. Um, so uh, it might be something where maybe you have to uh, stop in the school and get something like a ruler from me or uh, make sure your parents have one or have one before Friday or whatever you need. So if you need to borrow one, just let me know. Um, so that's kind of the idea. Uh, so we're going to be looking at that on this on this next one. So I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to go grab a ruler here. I wonder if I have one on my desk. I do. Excellent. Okay. So that's what we're going to look at here in a second. So, um, so our first problem, we have to actually have a ruler for it. Um, but you guys can just watch. Now remember, this is a practice guide that we're doing. Um, this will look exactly like the test on Friday. So um, for those who are testing at home, this is what it's going to look like, right? I'm just going to flip through. This is what your questions. This is what it's going to look like on your screen at home. I'm going to have I'm going to have the actual picture like um, up. You'll be able to write down stuff on a piece of paper. You'll just answer your questions and you'll go. I want your camera angle that you're looking at. I want it so I can see your hands as you work. I don't need to really see anything else. I don't need to have a top down view because uh, I don't need to, the people in the Zoom to actually see your work. I just need to see your hands. If your hands leave camera shot too long, then we have a problem because I don't know where your cell phones are at. So you got to have your hands always in camera view. Um, you know, if they're if they're leaving the table, I I have to um, I have to stop the zoom at some point. So uh, keep that in mind. Uh, so they have to be in camera view. I just because I don't want to accuse anyone. Your audio has to be unmuted, so you have to be in a spot where it's quiet. Uh, so I know it can be tough if you have animals and whatnot, but um, put yourself in a position where you can uh, you can get to okay where you can. Oops, sorry, jeez. All right, let's close that out. Okay, so, um, but yeah, you gotta put yourself in a position where you can uh, you can take the test, you can ask questions. If you have questions, you're gonna have to type it in the chat during testing, because we're live on Zoom, so you have to put it in the chat and do the best you can. Um, but yeah, so this first one's kind of tough. So if, if at some point, like if you're testing at home and you need you know a copy of the test or whatnot, or you need a, uh, uh, a ruler or whatnot, um, I should say maybe not copy of the test, but you need a ruler for the test, just let, let the office know. I'll put one in the office. You can have it picked up. Um, I can drop it off to you if you need one. Uh, just let me know whatnot, and I'll kind of remind people of that. I'll send out a reminder that you need you know a calculator, you need a ruler. If you need one, I'll make sure you have one on hand. I'll drop it off at your personal residence, so if you need to. Okay. All right, uh, but yeah, let's let's talk about this first one. This is exactly what your practice guide uh, or your test will look like. Remember, I want you to write down this stuff in your notes. You will submit this to me on Google Classroom. So you have to take pictures and submit this back to me with the work that we do because um, that's how we do every practice test. You, you do it as I do it, you submit it, you get some free points. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing. You can even see like a couple minutes ago live on Google Classroom, the practice guide went live. So you can actually submit your answer back in the Google Classroom, you can actually attach your work, uh, your pictures of your notebook. So you can keep this, these notes in your notebook, it's no big deal. Uh, but let's kind of walk through this. So this first one, we have a scale. We have a scale of, um, we have a scale of 18.2 centimeters is uh, 2,668.3 miles. Now this will not be perfectly to scale. 
um, I'm gonna have just some random scale for you on Friday. The reason why is that you're, you're looking at a screen in front of you and measuring a screen, right? That isn't a perfect one-to-one -one of what the map said because uh, every device is different sizes. Like my MacBook is huge, my iPad is kind of smaller, and so I have a different scale depending. So, uh, but we're just gonna do it so uh, I'll be able to test it on your, the Chromebooks that you guys have because I have a, a version here to make sure that it makes sense for the numbers that are coming through. Um, so now we're, we're going from Minneapolis, Minnesota, all the way to New York City, New York, which is right here. So now that, that'll be probably the challenge I think for you guys is just being able to see where those cities are or getting close to it. That's what I'm kind of worried about. If it's one of those things where you guys need me to like pinch and zoom somewhere, I can do that as you can tell. Uh, but I want to make sure it's in a spot where you guys are comfortable, you can see it. So these are the two cities, so this is the distance we're covering. On test day, I will not tell you where they are, okay? But what you should expect, they're probably major cities, like no weird hokey pokey town. It's gonna be a major capital probably, so you won't have to really worry about it too much. Um, and I'll provide you the, the state name, so you should be able to at least look up where the state is. All right, um, so now we're gonna be measuring this. So this is where at home you would need a ruler. So again, if you needed one, um, I'll provide you with one. Um, just let me know and I'll, I'll get one to you at your personal residence, okay? All right, um, so we're gonna be measuring. So in my case, this ends up being 4.6 centimeters. So this ends up being 4.6 on my on my screen here. Now this is not gonna be perfectly a scale. The reason why is that it should be a lot longer than 4.6 if I actually threw it up on the marker board or I threw it on my, my screen in front of me. So, because I think when I did this first scale, I think it was on my marker board. So uh, yeah, this is, this is gonna probably tell us that it's like 200 miles, which is not realistic. Um, but whatever the answer is, we're gonna go with it. Um, you're just showing me that you know how to set it up. Really, that's the key and you know how to do it. All right, so we're finding the, the real distance. Again, where that 4.6 came in, that was this number right here. I measured it with a, my ruler in centimeters. Again, if it hits a hash mark, that's that's in decimal form. Now, from right here, you're going to cross multiply and divide. You start with a number above or below x. You cross multiply and divide. So I'm taking 4.6 times 2,668.3, and whatever that is on a calculator, then I'll divide by 18.2. So that's cross multiplying diagonally and then dividing by the last number. And this will give me my x. Now I'm just gonna let you know what this number is just so you can see it. So on a calculator, if you have one, uh, 4.6 times 2,668.3 and whatever that answer is divided by 18.2, it's telling me that it's 674.4 miles. Probably a little small. <laughs> probably a pretty small number uh, compared to the real number. I'm, in real life, that's probably a thousand miles or more. Uh, my scale's not perfect on this one. Uh, what is the actual scale here? Oh yeah, the, yeah, the actual scale was about eight centimeters too big. So. But yeah, we'll, we'll adjust. Okay, um, but yeah, that's what I expect to see. I wanna see the work, I wanna see the answer. So if you're doing this on your own, um, on the test, I want to see like this stuff written on paper. Like that's what I want to see on your paper. And remember, when you're taking your test, you're just on your own notebook paper, writing down your work, you know, you're using your screen to measure and whatnot. You're writing down, you're showing me all the work that you're doing. Make sure your name's on your paper. So when you actually take a picture of it at the very end of the test, when at the end of the test, remember, you don't use your cell phone in, in the middle of it, just at the very end, take pictures and then submit it to me on Google Classroom. That's what we'll do, okay? All right, questions on the first ones. Okay, again, if you need a ruler, let me know. Um, I'll send out probably an email today saying, hey, does anyone need a ruler or a calculator for the test on, on Friday? Um, so that way we can get something for you because you'll need one. Okay, let's go to number two. Again, we wanna go through four problems today. That's all I wanna go through, four questions, and then, um, then I'll turn you loose. Okay, so. So for four, uh, for 
for our second out of the four questions here, uh, we're going to be finding a town around San Antonio, Texas, a town that is 586.5 miles away. Okay, we're going to be using the same scale as problem number one. So whatever scale I provided you, I will provide it. You know, I will. Uh, I'll use it for this problem number. Uh, problem number one. So um, the same scale that we had earlier. And you probably already have it written down. It's probably on your notebook paper. It's the 18.2 centimeters was the 2,668.3 miles. That was the same scale we used in problem number one. So on your test, it'll be a different scale. I'll have probably a different map so it's easier to see. All right, and so now what we need to do is we need to figure out, you know, the centimeters. 586.5 miles. I need to figure out how many centimeters that is on my map. So that way I can figure out what city is 500 miles away. So we're going to cross multiply and divide. So again, I'm starting with the number above or below my x, cross multiplying and dividing. So that is 586.5 times the 18.2 and then dividing that answer, whatever the answer is, by 2668.3. Again, it's cross, multiply diagonally, and divide. So on a calculator, 586.5 times 18.2 divided by 2668.3, I'm going about four centimeters. It's actually four on the dot. This is 4.0000. Okay, so what that means, if I pick up my handy dandy ruler, I'm going to go four centimeters from San Antonio, Texas. So I have to, you know, put my little the starting point right on San Antonio, Texas, and then go four centimeters away, and I'll just kind of spin in a circle around San Antonio on my screen. So on your, you know, on your Chromebook screen, this is what it would look like, right? You're putting it, you're putting it, and you're kind of working your way around the screen, and you're telling me what major towns would you hit. So on my case, just to give you an idea, San Antonio going four centimeters away. Um, let's see, I'm hitting Tampa, Florida. I'm hitting um, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm hitting Knoxville. S let's see. S see. Omaha. Hey, Omaha, I'm hitting. Um, Cheyenne, Wyoming, hitting uh, Phoenix, Arizona. So I'm going to circle those. So Phoenix, Cheyenne, Omaha. Uh, Look like it almost hit St. Louis. It hit uh, Knoxville, hit St. Petersburg or Tampa and Atlanta. So I was kind of following this, this circular pattern right here. That's kind of what it looked like. So probably St. Louis is probably out, but you get the idea. It's probably more Springfield. And you're just going to tell me a couple of the major towns. Does that make sense how I did that? Again, this really relies that you have a ruler. So, um, and use whatever scale that you, that you were provided on number one. Okay, questions. All right, let's go through two more here. All right, so two more questions. So this is, I think, number three is probably the more challenging one. I think this is the, probably the most challenging question on the entire test. Maybe it's not the most time intensive. It's just the one that you really need to know what you're doing. There's no way to kind of flub your way through it, really. You really just kind of need to laser know what to do. And if you don't, yeah, it's going to go terrible. <laughs> so... Um, so here's how it works. The first thing, I have two towns. I have Chicago and Mason City. Okay, You compare the coordinates. One of the coordinates will be off from each other. So when we compare these, which coordinate is off? Well, in my case, when I'm looking at this, it looks like the west numbers are off. The east number, or the north numbers are almost the same. They're 39s. But one of the numbers was off. It was the east and west number. So what you have to do is you have to subtract those numbers from each other. So 93.330 and subtract the 90.178. 
we need to find the difference in that angle between from east to west. That's the longitude numbers, by the way. So 93.33, 93 uh, subtracting the 90.178, um, I get a difference in 3.152 degrees. That's the angle difference on the planet. And I provided you all the things you need. It's, the formula is up above if you can see it up there. I think it's right above the problem. Okay, you can see it. I'm going to leave that there on test day. So you really need to know what you're doing. You're taking the radius of your Earth. So in my case, this is the radius of the Earth. That's 3,996. That's the number we're going to use for the test day. I just want to keep it kind of simple. We're going to multiply it by my angle, which is the 3.152 degrees that we just found a little bit ago. And then we're going to multiply by pi. Maybe I should make a better pi symbol. Pi divided by 180. So this, again, you need a calculator. You can't get around this unless you're really good at multiplying numbers by hand. So 3,996 times 3.152 times pi. Every calculator usually has a pi button. Or if you don't know what pi is, it's 3.14. Then you take it. To, uh, then you divide by 180. And I'm getting 219.83 miles. That's the number I'm getting on the on the calculator when I multiplied straight across and divided by the 180. So again, you're finding the numbers that are different, subtract them. Take it times the radius, take it times pi over 180, and the formula is written up above. All right, questions. Perfect. Okay. Again, stop me if this is too confusing. Okay. So for the next one, um, obviously we're in a uh, we're on this uh, bus schedule again. This is the uh, the trip that we were trying to find the total time that you spent on this bus. Um, and so we're going from Appleton to Largo. So the first thing you need to do is go find the towns that are in question. So we have to go find Appleton. Appleton's right here. And we're going to Largo. We're going to Largo. So what side of the graph should I be using? Well, if you look, the arrows are telling you. I'm using this arrow. I'm going down. Appleton to Largo. So that tells me what side of the graph I'm using, what numbers. I'm using the, uh, the 5.44 p.m., and I'm using the 10 p.m. when we get to Largo. So just by like ballparking my head, we're we're you know we're traveling for about four hours on something. Okay, just ballparking it in my head, four hours. Uh, but how you find it is since I didn't go from like I didn't go from morning to afternoon, or I didn't go from afternoon to the next day, um, I can just subtract these numbers straight. So 10 and subtract the 544. Since they're both in the afternoon, they're both PM, I can just subtract. If one of them was AM, you have to change the PM number to military time, add 12 to it. So that's the trick when you learn to subtract. Now, I need to borrow. So I'm gonna borrow from the 10, making this a nine. So I'm gonna make that nine hours. And when you do that, you have to carry the number over because I borrowed from the hours. So I have to carry over a six. So instead of zeros, I'm gonna have a, I'm carried over 60 minutes, I add 60 minutes to it. So this, this double zero now turned into a 60. If there was like any number there, you add 60 to that number. So if it was like 18 there, I add 60 to it, so now I'm at 78, right? If that was an 18 sitting there. But at this point, now I should be able to, to subtract. So again, I need to borrow again, making this a five, and this is a 10, and subtract straight down. That makes 10 minus four is six, 5 minus 4 is 1, and 9 minus 5 is 4. So it was 4 hours and 16 minutes. That's the idea. This is what I want to see. Again, most of your calculators have those like hours and minutes buttons you could use to figure it out, but I do want to see some work. I want to see how you're coming up with it. You have to show me it by hand. I know some of you can count with your fingers, that's fine. You can do that. I I nearly guessed it. I said it's about four hours and something. 
when I first looked at it. All right, that's the last one today. So uh, if, you, if you're taking notes, make sure that you know, you're keeping those notes on hand because you're gonna take a photo of those once we're done with the practice guide and you're gonna submit them to me for points. So that's the assignment that's due this Friday. It's this practice guide. Okay, questions. Okay, now, um, if, if anyone needs a ruler or a calculator out of the, you know, the select group of you that are in the Zoom here, if any of you need a calculator or a ruler, let me know. Let me know by email. I'll send it out here in a little bit if you need one, and I'll try to get one delivered to you. I'll talk to the office, and we'll get one you know, delivered to your house. But you'll have to bring it back So because they're my personal rulers so or calculators, whatever you need. So just let me know. So I'll, I'll get them so you're ready to go for a test on Friday. All right, but that's it. You guys are free to go. You can uh, go work on your practice guide. There's no Google question of the day. You already know it. The Google question of the day or the Google um, form was the practice guide. I literally submitted to, to you. So you guys are good to go. So have a good day, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.